Boys, I don't think there's a horror game out there that can simultaneously make you do this. Shut up. Fuck! What the- <laughs> Woo! Oh, the is oh my god! And this. What the hell? Yeah, what the hell? Well, yes, I think it's true and fair to say. Boys, what the f are we witnessing right now? Don't look at me so seductively like that. <laughs> Boys, this is pure art. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Epic Games. This is Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake 2 might actually be my game of the year. I'm literally not even joking either. It is an absolutely insane step from the first game that's had me gripped from literally like the first scene. 13 years ago, Remedy made the first Alan Wake game. I was 17 years old at the time. Yeah. The previous game left off with Alan leaping into the lake and thus entering into the dark place. The game takes place in two locations, Pacific Northwest and New York. We get to play as both Alan Wake and FBI agent Saga Anderson, and you can actually play it in any way you want. So you can progress each storyline as you please. It contains a lot of psychological horror and it actually have messed me up. And the world is linked with control, so you'll see references to the Federal Bureau of Control as the game goes on. Make sure you check out Alan Wake 2, it's actually incredible. The link's in the description. Genuinely, play it. What the fuck? Who am I? I want to see his penis. Show me that penis. <laughs> oh, what the hell? This ain't the Alan I know and love. This is... This is midlife crisis Alan. <laughs> this is living off a diet of beer and pizza Alan. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, right guys? If I was in the woods, and I do not know why I'd be in the woods late at night, but if I definitely saw a naked guy going through the woods, I wouldn't be like, what's wrong with him? I'd be like, let's get the fuck out of here. I ain't going near him. Don't hurt me, I'm sen- I'm sensitive. Where the hell did this guy wash up from? Fucking- What the fuck? Okay, okay, it's gonna be this kind of game. <laughs> ah, kid, I kicked my PC by the way, boys. I got jump scared by a deer, and I got jump scared by an Allen. The audio in this is really, really good, by the way. What? Mate, we are fucked. Okay, we gotta run. The light. The light protect. Oh. Oh. They are not bothered by the light. Oi! Do not shoot me! Serpentine, serpentine, serpentine. We just get to the light. Get to the light. Get to the- ah! <laughs> Ooh! What the fuck? Oh my god. Wait. That looks like Alan under the mask. I need to blur that. <laughs> Dude, that poor guy. He literally crawled out of a river naked and then was opened up. That's a solid start to a game though. Alan, wake to... Let's go boys!
That's a sick opening. That's actually a hype opening. He looks like he's gonna be a bad guy. They drunk the coffee in sync. I'll check out that map. I'm Deputy Mulligan. Were there any witnesses? A couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. It's very sus. Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. All right, this is the case board. The mind place, my version of the mind palace technique. The if you're able to visualize, like, visualize this in your head, you're a fucking legend. We're Whoa. just getting started. Visiting the mind Let's place does the not the pause scene. the game. Now, this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table, and we didn't touch nothing. Body is positioned on the table. Mm -hmm. Ritualistic. Uh, the image can be selected with left click and then placed on the board. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Well, we probably should investigate the chest wound. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Oh, what? So... Mate, you couldn't even come to the conclusion that it's like a black market organ stealing. They left it there. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here. Waiting. Someone left in a hurry. Okay, so somebody saw the crime. For a camera? They saw the crime, but they not might not necessarily be the killer. They probably shit their pants. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. That's the guy who hunted Alan throughout the entirety of the first game. Wait, let's see if I can find a picture of that. Oh my god. I had no idea that... Oh my god. I had no idea that was him. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze. Booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head. Chased ghosts until he fell off the map. So, Nightingale ritual murder. Was chosen as the victim. Why? Flick the switch. It goes click. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale, a component. Okay, she's got some fucking superpowers. Because as far as I'm aware, this is linked to the control game, which they watch over, like, um, anomalies. I don't know what they call them. This is more than just deduction. <laughs> How did he end up here? from the lake that's not a lake he was there too mm. you are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise robert nightingale came from the lake before his murder yeah she got a motherfucking superpower boys 100 percent. the killers knew he was here ambushed him they didn't take his dragged clothes him off him? The campgrounds, strapped him to the table cut his heart out tracks barefoot they come out from under the boulder it makes no sense a page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying death. <laughs> yeah, boy. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. We found a page in the woods. What is Nightingale's role in this? He was I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination. ASAP. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. I recognize him. I know where I recognize him from. He's in the boys. <laughs> I remember now. Your deputy said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. What did you see then? This naked dude came out of the lake and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives. And then we found a... The whole thing was... Terrifying. What did you find? That's all. Profile in! What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. 
The symbol is two triangles. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a murder. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Yeah, how did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. I told you not to keep that thing, Tammy. It's crazy how we were able to deduce that. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. The what stab? other clues can the body give me? There's writing on here. They make it out. wrote on his heart. Oh, this is grim. It's, tell me it's not a manuscript. It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. <laughs> oh, Mike. God, it is. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Uh oh. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Oh, shit. No, 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 wait. Sheriff? What the hell? Oh. oh. <laughs> Holy shit, that pain. I'll make you pay. Oh dear. He's <laughs> coming. No weapon. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Nah, that's terrifying, dudes. Oh, they've changed the light mechanics so that they can't see you in the light. <laughs> if you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. <laughs> oh no, where's the gun? Where's the gun? I didn't see where the gun went. My God, dude, these are so much more threatening than the first game. Go. Where's my gun? Where's my gun? Where's my gun? Where's my gun? Fuck you. Vanished. Yeah, just like the sheriff did, dude. I just got jump scared by a chapter ending, dude. Fucking hell. Mate, this game, this game is sick. This is a class song. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. It's kind of fucked up, isn't it, Casey? All of it. I hope being invisible in the light is something that persists in this game, because that actually was so scary. <laughs> Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Are you fucking shitting me? In, Casey? I've been jump scared by a deer. We'll I've been jump scared by Alan. Wrong and yet? now I've been jump scared by a door. <laughs> How are you folks doing? Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. Oh, it's shit! mostly for research purposes. The worlds aren't only connected, but they're actually referenced in this. That's fucking cool. If Jesse shows up, I will freak out. 
<laughs> like it's a little Easter egg at the end or something, you know? Where'd you go from here? I can feel something. A presence. Nightingale isn't far. Oh my god. I was not ready for that. Fuck me. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. Fucking watch it. Casey, where the fuck are you? Why has he left me? Casey, you dickhead. Why are you not in your... Oh, shit. Oh, this is really flooded. What is that? Yeah, what is that? It seems like it's reacting to the light. <laughs> My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. Something tells me when Deer Fest happens is when the, the, the lake reappears. But I don't this know how that is hot. Anderson. Thought I saw something in the woods. Yeah, I thought I saw something too. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store in a fridge. What the fuck? <laughs> I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. Okay, bro. <laughs> yeah. Who's rustling around in here? <laughs> Jesus, fuck me. That is the second time I've been jump skid by a fucking deer. <laughs> Woo! Woo! I missed. Who the fuck are you? Yeah. Fuck off, bitch. Get out of here. The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. Don't forget to update the code. 705-713-717-723. Are you shitting me? Okay, so the code's 739. <laughs> Fucking hell. Dude, what a way to change your code. Nang. I hope I big brained this. <laughs> okay, now we have a shotgun. Dude, this is <laughs> this is messed up. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart witch. Show me the terror. Looks like we're going in, boys. Alan, are you okay? Fuck you! <laughs> Nightingale. I'm sorry, I was talking shit. Let's let's talk this out. Let's be friends. What the fuck is going on? If we end up transitioning to a scene like that, that would literally be so fucking sick. Well, shit. Oi! I mistimed that really badly. Oh, I'm dead. That's not how the story goes. <laughs> Dude, fuck that. He, he killed me in two hits, mind you. That is, uh, not the good. Right in the chest, I see. Come on, baby. Yeah. I think I just keep shooting him there. I don't know. Wait, 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 Oh, shit. Run. Run. Oh, my God. Fuck you, asshole. Oh. Ooh, that doesn't look like it feels good, my friend. Nightingale. Hi, buddy. Oh, he still got to me! 
Don't get off me! Yeah, you like it, don't you? Take it in the face. Ugh. No, he got me again. Yes! What does it feel like murdering a, a dead man? <laughs> Who are you? Oh, it's Alan. What is this? Who are you? You hear me? In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Oh, mate, it's gonna appear, isn't it? The house on the lake's gonna appear. Oh. Hey. Oh shit, is that Alan? Are you okay? Oh, no, it's my fault. They got out with my face. Scratch. Oh no. Sir, calm down. It's changed the story. The dark presence. We must stop it before. Easy now. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13? <laughs> this game's fucking insane. Holy shit. The music for these end of chapters is really good. this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. This is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. Oh, my fucking is shit! <laughs> Bro. Bro, chill. Stop hiding behind the tree. You're I will... <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Not again. Not again. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you were gonna kill me. Don't do it. <laughs> I don't like shooting them. Why don't they learn? That sounds like the control station has been tampered with. Guys! Warning. Activity detected. A-W-E. What exactly does the FBC do? <sighs> they have a reputation of showing up for weird shit. They have a presence here. And now we find our writer. Hey, there we go. Hello. You ready to go? Okay, that's not weird at all. The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's, it doesn't make sense. Wait, are we gonna play as Alan? This is kind of weird. <laughs> okay, the bud. Oh! You look shell shocked. Good to see you, Alan. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This isn't right. I I haven't written anything. He's so humble. Okay. You got me. Good prank. Very funny. Maybe it was written by your evil double. Oh, that's so on the nose, bro. <laughs> Thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta narratives. Yeah, these 
expecting to disappear once this scene ends. What the fuck? <sighs> Could make a good horror story. 665, neighbor oh, of the beast. 665? Well, well, well. Ah, uh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Safe as in the Lord's purse. Purse. Here's the key. <laughs> Thank you, mate. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this oh. what the janitor had left for me? I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Oh. Whoa. When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Well, this is an interesting mechanic. I felt another surge from the lamp. I the glow in the lamp went out. But surely I can take the light from you now and it'll change back. Well, this is trippy. <laughs> I'm driving to the body to find the answer to the map, the key, the compass. That's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean, that's not an ocean. And a lake, that's not a lake. He's fucking lost it. <laughs> we can leave into the streets of New York. The payphone was ringing. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. Oh, uh, no, I don't trust this. Don't trust this. I'm gonna get fucking jumped. Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Hello, Casey. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome. So, this act. is. Was Wake their leader? This this is a. Uh, written it? A story, Alex Casey. Creative. Perfect work of art. Stay here. Bro, he's already dead? He was just gonna keep killing me here. Loop by loop. You're not gonna get what you want. Okay, we're stuck in a loop. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Are you real? Whoa! How do you know which one's real and which one's not? Uh. Hey, 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 what's going on? Hey, hey, hey. Guys. Guys. Truce. Oh my god, guys, please, truce. Truce, 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 truce. Uh, which one of you is real? Which one of you is not? Uh, give me the fuck out of here, man. Something was here. A vision about to reveal itself. Come here before me. An FBI agent had come here before me. Wow. On the trail of a murder cult. Select the FBI agent element and activate it with enter to rewrite reality dude this is so fucking trippy the fed had glimpsed into the maw of darkness i'm not gonna get run over by a train are we everything's inactive right <gasps> oh my god i don't like the sound of that i don't like the sound of that either Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Bad luck to be on this case. The cult can get you anywhere with that black magic shit. Did we gain anything from that, though? Yes. 
I changed the story. And with that, the dark place changed. The cultist laid the Casey novel onto the altar with reverence. <laughs> what the, the fuck? Bible. It's a work of fiction, bro. Oh my god! Fuck you, asshole. Scared the shit out of me. Stay dead. The train blocked my way forward, but it was here for a reason. Oh, so any narrative you get, you can add to the pages? So let's change it to murder cult. This thread fit the scene. The cult poured the gasoline over the train car. An iron cage that would soon become a coffin. God, Alan has a bit of a fucked up head, doesn't he? To come up with these stories. Because he's the one writing this. The plot element I found would drive the story forward. A sick and twisted story. Ay ay ay. The subway uh. car had become a burnt husk. I could get through it now. <laughs> Fuck. It gives me every time. Dude. Hey. Yeah. Oh, this is so fucking grim. Don't, 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 don't. None of this was real. It feels it. Dude, that was some spectacular voice acting from that one guy. He's like, over oh, the fucking car! Hey, Night Springs. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, that's grim. Okay. <laughs> That was a lot of progress I just lost. Holy shit, that was fucking... That was something. Hello? Oh. Hey, Alan. Oh, it's you! You snuck up on me. <laughs> well, that's my crazy wall. I'm just trying to make sense of things. Don't judge me. Remember. Crazy walls any day. See you around, Alan. See you around, buddy. I love you. Um... Oh shit. Oh shit. I don't run very fast, dude. Alan, run faster. Oh fuck. Come on, Alan, open the fucking door! Do we- I just run, right? I just run, right? The dark presence. I think we're about to bump into the FBI agent. Yeah, this is the dead body. I had found the murder site. Somehow the victim's heart was the key. She took it. Something had shifted. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. Help me get you. This is Alan Wake. I'm trapped here. The dark place. Under Cauldron Lake. Please, help me. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Big text gonna pop up? No, just end of part. <laughs> I thought I lost you again. Did you go deeper? Are you talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I... That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. The dark presence is stealing from you. Wait, wait, hello? Shit. Well then, into Parliament Tower, boys. Where is this gonna take us? Alice's photo equipment is set to go off when the door opens. Thanks for that, Alice. Alan hit a block. That brought out a meaner side of him. One I didn't like. 
I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Alan was back. It was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. To her, she was just taking photos of her abusive husband and then made art out of it. I was back, and I hadn't forgotten. I knew how this worked now. I could take control, no more surprises. The song is called Herald of Darkness, but I like to call this next segment the story of the journey of Alan Wake, the musical. <laughs> the fuck are we watching? <laughs> Yeah, what the hell? From what I gathered, you grew up nice and sheltered with mama's pretty stories and your own made up fury. And mama gave me a magic clicker. Well, yes, I think it's true and fair to say. Boys, what the fuck are we witnessing right now? I got no words. This is truly incredible. So you were drawn to stories early on. My dreams would light up my imagination. And you had nightmares night and day. Yeah, but with the clicker, I chased those frights away. Who you? I love how like they're telling me the way to go as well. Boys. This is pure art. <laughs> they even got, they literally got all the cast doing fucking choreographed dancing as well. It's so good. And your award goes to. <laughs> fucking hell. And just when we thought it was over, it sucks us right back in. <laughs> Our life, bitch. Yeah. So, um, we're gonna talk about what we just witnessed, or are we just gonna carry on and pretend like it wasn't a thing? <laughs> what an incredible game, though. You gotta admit. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, this is from the the first game where we're on the boat. Oh. Oh, I didn't know their marriage was on the rocks. Don't look at me so seductively like that. <laughs> Got the flare, baby. Oh shit. <laughs> oi, ay, ay. Oi, stop it. Whoa. You're having it too. <laughs> I got fire on the beat. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Fuck! I just got Dark Souls. Yeah, let's use up all the flares, baby. Oh. Oh shit! There's one night next to me. Oh shit! Oh shit! Maybe we don't fight them. Maybe we just keep going. What are you, boys? That was the end of the music, right? Right? Yes. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. That's probably one of the wildest things I've seen in a game in a long time. That was, uh... That was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Oh. Such a dark place, am I trapped in here? Is this real? I cannot remember. There was a manuscript, it held a key. A vicious cycle I must not surrender to. <laughs> Echo scenes to seek out again and again. And we thought the music was Until over. Figure it out to bring this song to its end. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we write the song out of existence. I absolutely love that. I love that I thought I was out, and I absolutely wasn't. <laughs> oh my god! A cheeky smile. Oh, we're back. Oh, and I thought hell. this place couldn't get any stranger. I know, right? Light the boy at Yanka Connet, show him. Ah, Dana. There's somebody sitting here right now watching this going, I fucking know what he's saying. <laughs> Was that- that band sounded very, very similar to the song that was in Control. I wouldn't be- Just can't stop getting jump scared. And it loops forever, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we stopped there. This game is amazing. Actually so fucking incredible. This video was sponsored by Epic Games. You can get Alan Wake 2 right now on the Epic Games Store. It's absolutely amazing. There's so many more secrets and lore that didn't make it to this video. Some of it will actually shock you. I'll be streaming the rest of this game and I'll also get the VOD up of this session. Thank you for watching. See ya.